All right, so we'll um, sum up the, uh, the the bank project, um, and we also have a get name uh, method that we we actually haven't used, uh, but it was part of of our our sign. So let's this one we actually never used. Um, and we used all of the other ones, return balance, yeah. So, let us just use this one, even though it wasn't part of the assignment. And uh, so this is just an easy uh, get, it's called. Um, so we could actually just, if we, uh, let me do the clever thing I showed you. Hopefully you remember. Um, all right, so let's just print out that the re the name that it's returning. So, um, and let's call it again. So, how did we call it? We just wrote the name of the object. So let's return the name of account one, and then a dot, and then uh, get name. Whoops. And now it will just um, it will just so uh, let's see. It's not a void, which means that it returns something. And what it returns is here, it returns the name, actually here, it's the name it returns. And this is the name that we uh, created in the constructor when we created the objects. Uh, so this is the name that's returning. So the name was stored in the name variable name, and we return this variable name when we call the method. So like this. And we could, let's just run it first. Um, does it pop? I, let's just run it first. So F6, run it. And Superman gave back. So it worked. It returned the name Superman. And it should because the first account we created here, we created with the name Superman. So the name Superman was stored and it's way to return it like that. Um, a different way we could also do it. Let me just... Uh, show you could also store it before printing it out. So let me just I just delete it delete that one um, We could just store it create a new string uh, name equals and Then we should be able to call uh, the, the the method from the um, Count one object dot get name and then end it with um, semicolon and now it should store the name um so now it's not printing it out yet it just stores the name um to, to get name uh so what is happening so um so this is this one get name so it takes the name um whatever's uh inside the variable name and it uh moves it back here and now it says string name equals whatever's on the side. So um, string name will equal what this uh, contained. Um, and we could, it does now we have the same name. It do, we could say uh, name new and it will still work. So don't, they, they, they don't, doesn't, they don't need to, uh, need, need the same name. Um, uh, so, and we could just print this one, make it fast, print uh, name new, and run it, and now it is, it is. let me just uh, uh, run Superman, so I don't, let me repeat it, F6, uh, wait, oh, I don't know what happened, press the wrong button, anyways, F6, and it runs, and it prints Superman. So it does the Superman. So it does the uh, the same thing. So um, so um, yeah, we should be done now. But let me just uh, add another thing to this um, project. Uh, let's say that Superman he uh decides that he's too famous and whenever people hear his name Superman they just freak out and want his autograph or something so he changes his name to um, well he just wants to be called uh, what is this uh, Peter Peter 
Parker, that's Spider-Man. Ah, now you can see that I'm not that into superheroes. Um, Clark Kent, that was the one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Superman wants to change his name to Clark Kent. So, um, or have it that, uh, tell that to the bank instead, because uh, Superman is... Um, he has too many fans or something. So let's create a method where that makes it possible for him to change his uh, his name. So we can just write it here after the get name. So what should it what should it contain? Um, so it shouldn't return anything. If it doesn't return any information, uh, it should be void. Um, so let's start by that. Public void. The next thing. Um, So, the name of it, uh, the method, and we just say uh, set name. This is a standard uh, naming convention in uh, Java. So um, let me look this. It complains, um, sorry, like this, and um, it doesn't complain. Now we just have a method that doesn't do anything. We it gives no error messages, uh, but it doesn't do anything. We can actually call it. Um, so let let us get rid of all this madness. No, this, yeah. Just get rid of them. Okay. So, um, let us just see what happens. Because account one dot. So now we're calling the method set name. Choose it in the list. Set name. There. And nothing happened. Nothing should happen. Should, shouldn't give any error message. Because it's just, um, the computer is told to, uh, to just go. That's the wrong way. Uh, to just go here, like this, uh, and, and and do whatever this is inside here, and there's just plain emptiness, uh, nothing. And um, I can just show you set name. Even though now we call it set name and it should set a name, we could just uh, we could even write a print statement here. Uh, um, call it method test. And I just want to show you that you can also um, be running be doing a Methodist, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, what do you call it, statements like this. Um, so um, let's run it. Let's give me the, give this one back. Let's run it. And now it just prints method test. So that's just a way to explain that you can just type a piece of code here. But uh, I think, uh, for methods, we'll be working more with that. So this is enough for now. So let's just uh, delete it and do what it was supposed to do, which is set the name. So Superman decides he wants to use his uh, alias instead. Um, uh, Clark Kent. And uh, so what does he do? He'll... Uh, so he'll wants to... Uh, we, we need to store a new... Uh, name in this name variable and it's actually very um, easy i show you uh, it happens the same way that the constructor does it um, instead that it's at void but um, so here just like in the constructor you have to define the input so it's a string because it's a new name and um, we can just call it name in again for uh, cloudy sake. So now I can take in a string input and we'll do repeat the step that we had in the constructor. Let me just copy paste it because I'm... So now I'll copy it from the constructor and put it in here. Yeah. And um, so now we should test it. And uh, the way we'll test it is to uh, first we'll um, oh yeah and it gives an error here that's interesting to see so let me just mention that um, now it gives an error of course because we we are requiring an input here we're saying I need a string input uh, please give me a string input and here inside these uh, parentheses we have uh, nothing so we are not giving it anything and it doesn't like us. Uh, it's angry, unhappy at least. Um, so we can just type a new name. So Clark with a K. Yeah, I think so. Kent. K. Clark Kent. I think so. Um, so 
now we are setting a new name. Uh, the way to test this. Um, first, I would uh, call the name just after I write it. That's just enough time. Um, so first, I would actually create a print statement, and then I would call the method from account one dot uh, get name. Was it get name? And I'll print this, and then all this madness. We don't. I just delete these two, which you don't have to, but. Um, just so it's easier to see. Um, so here it should print out Superman because we haven't changed changed the name yet. But after um, li this line, um, we change the name and then we should do the yeah. Let me just copy it again. Yeah. So now it should do print out the name change because this is what we did. We used a method called set name. And in that set name, we input Clark Kent, and Clark Kent is then being the new name stored in the name variable in the um, object, um, in the account object. So let's just print out F6, I run it, and oh no, I need to get back to my uh, this one. Yep, and it worked. Superman, and then he changed his name. He people he had too many fans, and they were going crazy. So. Uh, he changed it to Clark Kent, and then no one knows that it's actually Superman that has money in the bank. So, um, yeah, that's the way, and that should be clear. Um, and we'll be working more with uh, methods, so I'll repeat some of this stuff, probably, likely. Um, but, so, done with this uh, project, and see you in the next project not sure what it's going to be yet but um see you definitely bye